Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. So today I am doing a rather large, as you can see by the size of my hand on it, um, oval. I picked this up at a local discount store um, for like $9, so I was quite excited. Um, 45.7 by 66 centimeters or 18 inch by 26 inch. <clears throat> So, we'll give it a go, see what happens. Um, today I thought I would give this sewing machine oil a go. It was $2 from the coin save down the road and hey, you know, it doesn't specifically say anywhere but it's sewing machine oil so you'd hope it would be reasonably good. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a flip and drag and I'm going to use the, uh, what are they called, primary colours I have. I went and bought for my niece's hat which you will see probably on Boxing Day. Um, a set of acrylic Reeves acrylic and it had um, Mars black titanium white brilliant red medium yellow and I can't find the container right now there it is phthalo blue and what I've done is I have mixed those up to my consistency in a big pot each and, but I haven't put any silicon in any of them and I thought I'll take it out and use it as I need it. So that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going, but I'm going to try a slightly different method than I normally do. Uh, normally I mix the paint into the um, Oh, sorry, the silicon into the paint. But what I'm going to do is um, put it into the cup that I'm doing the flip and drag with. So, <laughs> how does it get any better than that? I am really struggling to get these gloves on. <laughs> My husband's doing a little dance outside the window, backwards and forwards. Um, I'm reusing these gloves, they hardly got used last time and I've got one glove left in my box so I need to go shopping. So let's get this party started. I have my house paint mixed up. Um, oh, it's a brush um, from when I did the hat. And it's all my paints are mixed with flow troll and water. And my target with this is to get a good coat all over, including the edges. Just like that probably without lumps in it, which I'm seeing one just there. And that must be one of the best white prep pours I have done. So I must have got the paint <laughs> the right consistency for once. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is a flip and drag. I've got a little cup. I don't know what sort of size that is. I call them shot glasses. What do you call them? Um, so, first in, last out is the deal when you're doing flip cups of any description. And 
you don't need a lot of paint colored paint for a flip and drag although this is a big canvas so I'm gonna probably I don't know three quarters full fill this and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to uh, start with and I'm pretty sure you can see me over on the side here the red I'm just putting it in and then I'm going to do a whole round of each of the colors and then I'm going to put a single drop of the oil into on top okay so here's my cut the little top off and I'm just gonna put a single drop in there then I'm going to go around and do another round of the colours. This might completely fail because this company's point of view about what sewing machines require oil wise might be completely different to my point of view. So, should I put a squirt of white into that as well? I'm going, actually I'm going to put one more drip. Oh, that was way not one drip. get any better than that that is so way too much oil okay definitely gonna put some white in there now so I'm just gonna squirt this is just a crease so as you see that I gave it a good squirt but it disappeared down inside so it's kind of mixed up a bit and I'm just going to put the lids back on these so we don't get splashes in them because there's a lot of paint that would go south ah, hand in paint so note to self the oil comes out really quickly. All right, so here we go. One, two, three, boop. I like the way the green, uh, the blue and the yellow have made Super cool green. Well, we're definitely getting cells in there. Let's see what gets created when we spread this around a bit. tins that I've got my painting sitting on seem to be doing interesting things. Okay. 
have a squizzy. Okay, I think I'm going to get my straws out. a bit and I'm not really enjoying that but let's see Play with this bit over here a little bit while it sort of settles down from that big blow attack and I think the next steps gonna be to torture just filling in some of those holes I blew really hard and it blew right down to the canvas. a bit of a competition I've got the door open to let the breeze in but now the breeze has come up There you go, a bit more colour. Hmm. 
not really seeing that many cells from this method now I don't know whether it's just the the change in oil or whether it's the method of including the oil when you do these tests you really should um, just change one thing <laughs> not two when I blow on it like that, that's fun. You know what, I'm not really liking this area, so I'm going to do an end Osborne and scrape it off. <laughs> if I don't like it, it goes. So, what can I capture this in? I'm just t tilting it slightly so that it the white definitely runs away from the other paint and maybe even drags the other paint with it. Sorry if my head's in the way. I'm quite liking this. I'm quite liking it indeed. Not too much though. So now it kind of goes from dark through to light as it drips off the end of the canvas, which is quite cool. Quite like that. Pull it down that way a bit more. 
so I Okay. I'm gonna give it one more go with the heat gun and we'll see. Dob a little bit of white in the middle of that because it's never quite recovered. Oh, oh there's a cell showing up. definitely different it's not similar to any of my other paintings I'm quite pleased with it it's uh, yeah definitely different and um, got a big hunk of paint in there I'll get you down and I'll show you what we've got. Hopefully it's been in focus because you're so far up I can't check on you. So <sighs> all right so let's start up the top here. Some lacing. Quite think this. Can I get that zoomed in enough? Focus and zoom. <laughs> so. I like the green that's come out of this. Oh, and there's even some purple. really quite like this this effect here Focus for me, please. No. <laughs> so there's lots of really interesting different bits in this. And what would you call it? A flip, drag and blow? <laughs> There's so many spots in it that you could just cut out and make a simple little painting of it, all of its own. It's one of the things I love about this style of painting is like, you could never stop looking at it really. I 
and then we come down here to the pinky swirly bits I'm not really sure what you call that but it's very subtle yet super intense And then there's this little patch just up here. <laughs> so cute. So there it is, guys. In all its big glory, big oval glory. I'm not sure I can. Oh, I was zoomed out. There we go. So, thank you all for joining me. I've had quite a bit of fun with this one. And I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you are looking to unleash your creativity, then come play with us on the well, New Zealand time. It's the 2nd of January, but in the States and Europe, it's, it'll be the 1st of January on unleashing your creativity. Check the link in the description below. If you're watching this after then, if you sign up on the link in the description below, you will still receive the recording. So... How much fun can we have? How much creativity can we unleash on the world? And what else is possible now beyond what we thought was possible? Okay guys, have fun and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!